All right, so today we are gonna be testing out this PNS uh, carpet bomber. I just got this yesterday. So I'm gonna show you guys basically how I go through and dilute my chemicals before I'm ready to start. So start by obviously taking the seal off of this. And then I got my hose right here. I use a pump sprayer, so I'm going to open this. Get rid of anything that's in there, because I believe that was super clean, but I don't wanna, I'm gonna try this with just water. I don't wanna add, I don't wanna get to mixing chemicals and stuff, because I don't know how good this stuff is. So, I'm gonna fill this up. It's about three fourths of the way full. Oh, really? It's almost full. I overfilled it. It's gonna take a minute for that. I'm gonna dump this a little bit. So, I don't know if you can see, but it's about right here. So, there's about that much still left. I am going to. What does this say? This says five to eight to one with water. Yeah, I'm not measuring like that. I just know how much I put in my bottles. Uh, fill up half of that gap right there. I don't know what dilution that is, but that's what we're gonna go with today. I usually, I don't really, unless I have like a bottle like, uh, like this, where you can tell what the fluid ounces and stuff are on there. I don't really measure my dilutions. I really just go by the color. Um, and the reason why I do that is because I don't use a lot of chemicals. I only use a few. Um, so like super clean, this one's real easy to dilute because the more, the darker it is, the more you will have in, have in your bottle. So uh, if I want light purple, you know, that's gonna be something really light i'm not looking to remove a lot of dirt whereas dark purple i'm going after you know floor mats and stuff like that so this i've kind of got down pat yeah pump this up i'm gonna go get it all right so we're not doing the whole car on this car uh this was a basic detail which is basically a thorough vacuum but the customer did specify that she needed this seat clean and this floor because she's the only one that drives it. So I was like, okay, I can throw that one seat in. Like, I'm not tripping over that. So we're going to do this and we're going to do this. So there's some salt stains over there and over here. And essentially, I would usually pull out super clean for that because I've found that carpet cleaners don't tend to get that stuff out very well. So we're going to, this is a very good test for this. So I'm going to put this on here it says to let this rest for at least three minutes so i'm gonna spray my pump sprayer and we're just gonna be like ah the overspray yeah i don't care about that i'm gonna wipe all that shit down and then i'm gonna dress this again and this is just cleaner so i'm not worried about it so get this nice and saturated let that sit and then yeah, this pump sprayer, the more I pump it, the more power it's got initially. So, pump that, saturate down there where that stain is at. Doesn't need to be perfect because we're gonna come in here with the drill brush and get to work. But we are going to make sure that this seat is fully saturated. All right. Get the drill brush ready in the meantime. Mm. Can I do this with one hand? Yes. All right. So we're going to go with red bristle, hard brush.
since I have to wait three minutes, I'm going to go ahead and, and get everything I need ready for what I'm going to do next. Because I have to wash this car and then polish it. So the polish we're going to be using today is 3D One Step. And I got some Eurofiber pads. So we're going to hit that. But right now what I need is I need that. I need this for the fallout. I need this package of pads, and I have more other ones. I need my IPA to do the wipe down and make sure there's no chemicals left on the car. Also need glass cleaner because I got to clean her glass. And then what else do I need to grab? I'm drawing a blank. Oh, no. I got to get my soap out. Hold on. All right. So... That's the sealant we're going to be using today. Then I got my wheel cleaner. This stuff is okay. Uh, I grabbed it because I didn't have nothing else at the time. And uh, yeah, I'm still trying to look for something a little bit better. Um, but what else do we got? I grabbed my clay mitt. So we're going to clay this car. Because it's got a ridiculous amount of scratches on it. Oh, I'm fucking up. And then... Uh, I'm gonna put my soap. <laughs> I got this as my strip soap. And the first thing you see is bug and tar remover. Yeah, this is gonna do a double job for me because it's a super concentrated cleaner. So it's gonna be a strip wash, but it's also gonna get bug the bugs and tar off the car. So I don't have to do a whole nother step for this. Um, but yeah, should be, we should be nearing about three minutes. So let's go do this. All right, so first things first, that has obviously changed colors a bit. So has that down there. So that's a good sign. So we're gonna go. edge and this floor here in a second but initial impressions that stain seems to be gone now once i extract that out that's going to be the real tell but yeah right now i'm happy with it so yeah i'm gonna do the rest of the seat all right so now that that's gotten to set a little bit since being agitated I agitated this down here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm thinking this is a pretty good cleaner, personally. I like the lather action quite a bit. I love the smell. It's got this like almost it's like orangey pine solly smell, which I like quite a bit. I need to extract this, but I'm pretty happy with how this carpet looks right now. So, PNS Carpet Bomber. Uh, it's probably a, it seems to be a pretty decent product. All right, so hindsight is always 2020, right? So, I realized with this soap that I'm definitely gonna have to measure the dilution because, see that? See that? I've rinsed this five times and that's still super soapy. So that stuff is super concentrated, which is a good thing. It's just, you really do have to dilute it. There's no, I can't function the way I've been functioning with my cleaners. These are lightly dirty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put that in a spray bottle and um, I'm gonna see what it looks like if I just lightly clean something. So I was being lazy. This was only like half full, but it has some super clean in it. So I poured like maybe a cap full or two in there. So we're gonna use this and see what happens. Cause usually I mix whatever cleaner I use with super clean. So this is gonna be a good example. Plus this is not even that full. So it should be good. So the lighting's a pretty little bit more e even in here. 
So we just got a little bit here and there. She didn't pay for carpet cleaning, but considering she's only got two mats, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and do it. Um, Cause I feel like that's the right thing to do for my customer. So um, yeah, plus this lady's paying me a lot of money today. So I kind of want her, her car to look really good. So we're just gonna lightly spritz this all over the fuck, all over the mat. And uh, I'm just gonna lightly agitate this. I'm not gonna go crazy. So. Yeah, soapy residue for the most part uh, starts coming out. And then thinking to yourself, oh, you really clean your carpets like that? No. But I'm doing this one handed, and this is not really a, a huge carpet cleaning I'm doing here. Just kind of, I already got all the surface dirt off of it. So this is more of just a touch up real quick. A little bit here and there, but for the most part, that came out. So even with light spritzing, it makes gets the carpets pretty clean. So yeah, uh, PNS Carpet Bomber, I'd say 10 out of 10. It's a good cleaning. And so with that, the basic detail on this car is done. Oh, that's not true. I gotta do the windows, but for the most part, and wipe that water away because I splattered some water everywhere. But yeah, this seat that came out fantastic. Very happy with that. So PNS Carpet Bomber is probably my new interior cleaner for carpets and upholstery. But yeah, this little Chevy tracks. We're about to move on to this bullshit and fixing all these scratches and swirls. Cause it's really bad on this car, but yeah, turned out good. Fuck with me. If you wanna know what I use, ask in the comments, and I will tell you what kind of chemicals I use. All right.